In this lecture, we'll discuss the notion of inner products uh, and norms associated with the vector space. So we are, are used to see this notion of angle and length being associated uh, to a vector. Inner product here is something that denotes the angles associated with vectors or angle between two vectors. And the norm here uh, is something that can be associated to the length of a vector or distance between two vectors. Okay. So when we discuss these concepts of inner products and norms, our assumption will be that we are either considering a real vector space or considering a complex vector space. Okay. So, we will start with the notion of inner products. So, consider a vector space B over a field F where the field may either be real or be complex. So, it is either a real vector space or a complex vector space. Okay. Inner product which we denote as this so inner product basically needs two arguments. Okay. So the inner product in a vector space V is a real or complex or rather I should put it like this is a numerically valued function of the ordered pair of vectors x, y from the vector space Such that the inner product of x and y belongs to the field, which means if the field is real, then the inner product is going to give you is a real valued function. If the field is complex, then the inner uh, product is going to be a complex valued function. Okay, and certain properties are satisfied. What are those properties? Number one, inner product of x y is same as the conjugate of the inner product y x. So, the bar here over the inner product of y x denotes the conjugate operation. Okay. So, uh, next if you have let us say x y z to be 3 vectors from the vector space then alpha x plus beta y inner product with z is same as alpha uh, xz plus beta yz okay. for all alpha beta belonging to the field for all xy belonging xyz belonging to the space this this holds and the last property that you have is inner product of a vector with itself is always greater than or equal to 0 and it is equal to 0 if and only if the vector itself is the 0 vector. Okay, so inner product of a vector with respect to itself is always a positive 
real number okay uh, now the first property that you have here is termed as the conjugate symmetry property of the inner product the second property that you see here is termed as linearity of the inner product in the first argument okay and the third property that you see will soon associate it with the definition of norm okay now if you have a vector space over which such a numerically valued function can be defined then that vector space is also known as a inner product space okay so an inner product space is a vector space with an inner product okay. so inner product is nothing nothing but a numerically valued function okay it's uh, output is either real or complex depending on whether the vector space is a real vector space or a complex vector space respectively and it has to satisfy the property of conjugate symmetry linearity in the first argument and the fact that the inner product with res uh, with itself is always greater than equal to 0 meaning it is always a positive uh, real number and is only zero when the vector itself is zero okay and if on a vector space we are able to define a inner product then we term that vector space as a inner product space okay some examples let's say that the vector space under consideration is cn and the field under consideration is let's say these complex numbers then the vectors taken from x uh, vector section right taken from this uh, cn for them the inner product operation will define it as the sum of xi i and zeta i conjugate where x is xi1 till xi n and y is a vector that is denoted by zeta 1 to zeta n okay this bar operation over the zeta i essentially we know that it is a conjugate of zeta i and here because x and y are in cn so zeta i is and uh, xi i is both of them uh, are basically complex numbers yeah, so this is one definition i suggest that you verify whether this definition holds uh, or basically satisfies all the three properties that we have discussed uh, for the inner products similarly let's say that the vector space is the polynomial space with the field being let's say complex okay then the inner product between x and y 
for x y belonging to this polynomial space this can be defined as integration from 0 to 1 product of x t and conjugate of y t integrated over d t. Let us say that you have three vectors with a certain field which is either real or complex. We saw that inner product satisfies the linearity in the first argument. What about what happens when we have it in the second argument? So let us say it is x alpha y plus beta z where alpha beta belong to the field. So this we can say that is equal to alpha y plus beta z x conjugate. This is coming from the fact that inner product has conjugate symmetry and I can express this as conjugate of alpha y x conjugate plus conjugate of beta z x conjugate. Okay. In case the field is real, then so for f being r, we will have this as I can actually let me complete this. This is as right. So you have this. If field is real, then this is essentially same as so you have linearity in the second argument as well when the field is real. When the field is complex, you do not have linearity in the second argument because if you notice the scalars that come outside are basically the conjugates. Okay? So, you have to be very careful when you uh, handle uh, inner product with respect to the symmetry. Okay? If the field is real, then the conjugate symmetry is essentially symmetry. You do not have that conjugation. But if the field is complex, uh, then you have to be careful. Okay, now with this idea of inner products, let us move on to the idea of norms. A norm. denoted by this, so norm takes only one argument, in a vector space V over a field F, which is either real or complex, because this is what we are going to do. With the real valued function such so that for all x in the vector space. norm of x is greater than or equal to 0 and if norm of x is equal to 0, this is if and only if the vector itself is the 0 vector. So, that is the first property. The second property is for all x in the vector space phi 
and for all alpha in the field f norm of alpha x is same as magnitude of alpha multiplied by norm of x and the last property is for all x y belonging to the vector space the norm of x plus y is less than equal to the norm of x plus the norm of y okay. so this is your triangle inequality the triangular inequality okay. so this essentially gives you a idea of the length of a vector if you want to have let's say the distance between two vectors okay the distance between x and y is in some cases people use d to denote the distance in some cases people uh, some literature uh, delta has been used to denote the distance in x and y and defined as the norm of x minus y okay now in certain cases the norm can be actually uh, defined in terms of the inner product that has been defined on the vector space okay in an inner product space and say that the norm of x is defined as the inner product of x with respect to x to the power 1 by 2 so the square root oh, the square root of the inner product space okay in such cases such a norm is called as an induced norm because this is the definition of this norm is being induced from the from the inner product uh, function that has been defined on the vector space okay i suggest that you look for the inequalities associated with inner products and norms okay so we'll stop here thank you